Is that Mocha? Back off. Whoa, you're grumpy this morning. His aunt's in town, so he's crashing at my house this week. Scored the top bunk, too. No way. You get to have a sleepover party for a whole week? A what? A sleepover. You know, staying up late, renting movies, eating tons of junk food. That's what we're supposed to be doing? Duh. That's why they call them sleepover parties. You've never heard of a sleepover party before? No? So we can have one tonight? Whatever, as long as we eventually end up sleeping. Hey! <laughs> guess what tomorrow is? Jonesy and Nikki's anniversary! What do you mean? They've only been dating for, like, three months. Exactly three months. It's so major! I guess it is pretty cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, there he is! There who is? Zane? The one I've been trying to get to notice me for a week? The one who works at Belts, Belts, Belts? I'll be right back. I wonder what flavor I should get. Mmm, those smell good. Fresh from the oven, huh? The chocolate chip are really good. Uh, yeah. Hey, so do you like your new job? One pecan glaze, please. Okay, so I guess I'll see you later. Bye. Oh. That was ugly. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. He literally doesn't know I exist. Oh, crash and burn, huh, Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for noticing. Oh, that girl is so annoying. Just ignore her. What? Never mind. Guys, you made it! <laughs> uh, yeah. We make it here every day? No, I mean you made it to three months! Do you know what she's talking about yet? Your anniversary? It's tomorrow? Oh. oh. Took us a minute to get it, too. Is this something that I missed and I'm already in trouble for? Because if it is, I can explain. Relax, Jonesy. I didn't know it was our anniversary either. Phew. So, uh, do you want to do something? Sure, I guess. Oh, you have to celebrate. And to get you started, Ta-da! See? There's a three for three months. Wow. You really need a boyfriend. I have one. Well, not yet, but soon. I even had a t-shirt made. I'm speechless. I am actually without words. I know. Cute, right? Green's his favorite color. Um, uh, nope. Still nothing. Aren't you supposed to be working at that new pottery store? You mean no other clay? I'm taking a strategic break. There's a birthday party there right now. You do not want to be around seven-year-olds making pottery. I know. Let's have a pillow fight. Let's pick out an ice cream. Dude, what are you doing? Watching movies about chicks having sleepover parties? Huh. So what do you got there? Um, girls just want to have slumber, giggling after midnight, and sneaking out. No, no, no. If you're going to do this, here's what you need. Pajama apocalypse. There's a guy at the window, and my personal fave sneaking out to the sneakening. The sequel's better than the original? You trust me on this or not? Uh, okay. You know I love Jude, but being around him 24-7 at work, at school, and now at home is starting to drive you postal? Hey! You're supposed to braid each other's hair and circle cute guys in your yearbooks. Can we do that? <sighs> 
So what are you gonna get Nikki for your anniversary? What? I have to get her a gift? Caitlin seems to think so. But what? <laughs> I have no idea. It's not that big a deal, is it? It is one quarter of a whole year. It's the beginning of a long-term relationship and a serious commitment requiring a symbolic gift. I'm in a relationship? Yes! After three months, it becomes a relationship. Everyone knows that. Whoa, so I'm officially in a relationship. Oh, gotta run. Zane goes on his washroom break at 11.15 every day. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Just when I think she's got a handle on this guy thing? I know, wham, it's gone. Hmm. Can I help you, young lady? No, thanks. I'm fine. Are you lost? Nope. Uh, what is it, miss? Do you have to go? Then you're going to have to vacate this area. You're loitering outside a public lavatory. But I have business here. I thought you said you didn't have to go. Okay, I'm waiting for this cute guy to come out so I can talk to him. Is this the cute guy? No! Well, yes, but please don't... Son, this young lady says she's waiting to meet you. Is this true? Well, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I have to go. Excuse me. I guess she really had to go. How can I ever face him again? At least he noticed you. Hey, what's up? Don't. Ask. Well, I got Jonesy's gift. A DVD? Not just any DVD. The director's cut of guys doing dumb stunts. No, no, no. That's way too small. It is? Yes. You have to get him something that says, you are really special. But he is. I mean, well, what do you think? I guess she's the expert. Fine. I'll look for something else. I've got to go. Hang in there. Bye. Caitlin? Uh, she's not here. Oh, that's too bad. I was going to ask her out. You were? Why? I thought you were really cute back there, you know, at the washrooms. Wow. Really? Definitely. So, uh, your answer is... Yes! 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 Cool. Pick you up at six. I have no idea what to get Nikki. What if I get her the wrong thing? You could make her some pottery. Is that a nice enough present? I used to make all my mom's presents and she liked them. And it's free! Bonus! Except I've never actually made pottery before. No sweat. I learned how to make bowls at camp one year. I can teach you. Sweet. Hey, hey. So what kind of sleeping bag do you need? Just something to camp out on the couch with until Jude goes home. Here you go. So, did you find something else for Jonesy? Check it out. Whoa, you got him an MP3 mini? Wow. Will you, uh, excuse me? But what about your sleeping bag? Uh, right. Nikki, are you crazy? This is way too expensive. You don't get a guy something this big after three months. He'll totally freak him out. I will? Why? It's too much pressure. He'll think you're, like, in love with him or something. Are you? No. I, I mean, I don't think so. I... <laughs> Guess what? Zane asked me out on a date! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to get ready. So, back to these presents. You have to get each other gifts that are the same value. Otherwise, it'll throw off the whole balance of power in the relationship. I'll go see if I can find out what Jonesy's getting you. Oh, this is worse than a calculus exam. You're squeezing the clay too hard, dude. Let your fingers be light. Look, I'm trying to be gentle. I've never done this before. Okay, here, relax your hands. Now start from the bottom. See? Wow, check it out, it's working. Nothing. So, uh, how about those leaves? Yeah, how about them? <laughs> nice. I've got to clean that up. Sorry, dude. 
What do you think? I made it myself. Looks like a breast. What? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, dude. You made Nikki a boob bowl? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You made the lid. Jonesy, I just saw what Nikki's getting for you. What's with the breast? It's not a breast, it's a useful bowl for keeping stuff in. Yeah, in the shape of a breast. Well, I think it's a sweet gift. Anyway, so what's Nikki getting me? An MP3 mini. Wow, that's big. Now my gift sucks. Yeah. I thought you said it was sweet. Compared to an MP3 mini, it sucks, dude. Nikki must really like me to get me an MP3 mini. What does that mean? It means welcome to relationship land, population two. So I'm gonna be stuck with one girl for the rest of my life? Try not to look at it as a death sentence. Think of it more as life without parole. Ever. Ah! How did this happen? I knew it. What am I gonna do? Well, you do really like her, right? Yes! So you could keep dating her and see how it goes. Okay, so suppose I'm gonna give this a shot. What now? You're seriously gonna need a better present. Psst, psst. Caitlin, over here. Hello? <gasps> what? Shh. We have to talk to you. <laughs> we know about your little crush on Zane. You can't like him. But I do. You can't. Why not? Trisha and Zane used to go out, but he brutally ditched her before the grade eight dance for Hillary Sorkin, just because she got braces. Trisha was devastated. <laughs> so, you see why you can't go out with him? No, not really. Mm. You don't do that to another girlfriend. But Trisha and I aren't even friends. You regardless, you can't go out with him. Cancel your date tonight or face social suicide at this mall. <laughs> You have to take that MP3 mini back or you could scare Jonesy away for good. Well, what should I get him? Something small. Small. Right. I can do that. Guys, I need your help. Mandy Gwen just told me I can't date Zane because Trish used to like him. Please, she's just jealous. He doesn't even like her anymore. Oh, you don't know the power of this girl. She can be so evil. Like she's gonna do anything. I once bought the same sweatshirt as Trisha did and she snuck into my locker during gym class and cut a hole in it. Ah! Caitlin, you can't let her push you around like this. Yeah, you finally got Zane's attention. You have to go out with him. You're right. Okay, I'm going. I warned her. She is going to love this. One personal video game player with instant message capabilities. A fine choice. Here's your total. Ouch. Uh, Jude, you got some cheddar I can borrow? <laughs> what? You're the one who said I needed to get something better. Didn't know I was gonna have to pay for it. You shouldn't buy toys you can't afford. Yeah, it's not for me, okay, Yoda? It's for Nikki. This relationship stuff is expensive. You had a crush on me last fall? I didn't think you knew I existed. Well, I didn't, until you slammed your locker door into my face. <laughs> hey! Spicy spring roll! Oh, we didn't order those. The gift from Pretty Lady at other table. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's nice. She must have changed her mind. About what? Nothing. Are you okay? <gasps> It'll distract you from the pain. You're playing with fire, Caitlin, and you're going to get burned. How'd they know you'd get this cookie? Because it's from Trisha! Oh, she's good. But let's see how she likes this. Oh, it is so on. It was so great. And the best part of the whole date was we bumped into Trisha again at the movies. Sounds really special, I guess. It was. <laughs> so, how was the sleepover party last night? Awesome. You can stay up until five if you eat enough hot fudge. <sighs> so, how was it really? He braided my hair. This is kind of my fault, isn't it? Caitlin, the boyfriend stealer? Oh, I told you she was evil. They're everywhere. 
Hey guys, what's up? Trish is ruining my life. Right, I saw the posters. You know what? I am gonna get her back. Caitlin? Zane, do you want to have lunch with me today? Definitely. Great, see you then. Cool. Ha! Let's see how she likes that. Well, I'm glad nobody's fighting over me. Is he wearing your clothes? There are s'mores all over his. Why don't you exchange your gifts now? <laughs> Fine. Jonesy, you first. Okay. Well, here's the first one. <gasps> it's a personal video game player. <gasps> this is a really big gift. And he made you something, too. Well, I did have some help. Wow, oh, it's a... Uh... Is that a breast? No, it's a boob. I, I mean, it's a bull. Okay, Nikki, your turn. Oh, no, no, we really don't have to open mine now. It's just a little something. <laughs> it's gum. It's a big baseball chew. Your favorite? It's a six pack. Wow, this is uncomfortable. I've got to get to work. I thought you were just giving her that breast thing. I changed my mind. It's all Wyatt's fault. He told me what to get her. What were you thinking? What happened to that MP3 mini? I told her to take it back because Jonesy was freaking out. How did you know that? Because I was spying on you. But that's what Nikki really wanted to get me, right? Well, that one was kind of Caitlin's idea. <laughs> oh, I've got to go too. Later, guys. So, we kind of blew that one, huh? Right out of the water. If no one wants this, I'll take it. <coughs> Focus! Sheesh. We have to fix things between Nikki and Jonesy. We do? Yes, this is all our fault. I know. Let's send them on a date. Yes. Wyatt, can you guys bring Jonesy to the movies at 7.30? You got it. Caitlin, grab mushy movie tickets and I'll grab flowers. Let's move. Two for your most romantic movie. Sorry, I can't serve you. You've been blacklisted. What? But these tickets aren't even for me. They're for my friends. Okay, but don't bother trying them at the gate. Trisha's second cousin works there, and he's real loyal. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <gasps> Not the khaki bar, too! I tried to warn you. Trisha can be very influential. So can I. <laughs> ah! Oh, she's killing my social life. Can you have your meltdown outside? Trisha threatened to boycott the khaki barn if we let you in here. Oh, fine. Come on, Nikki. Where are we going? Oh, what is this, a setup? Shush. We messed up your anniversary, and now we're going to fix it. Whatever. Oh, fine. How could you get me gum? What does that say about our relationship? Shh. I am so sick of that word. And, and why are you basing everything on some stupid gift? Shh. An MP3 mini wouldn't have been stupid. Well, maybe I wouldn't want you to freak out over being stuck with one girl or anything. Yeah, yeah, we're going. That's it. This anniversary is over. Fine by me. She can't do this to me. I've got to make her change her mind. Okay, if you want to get her to stop messing with you, you're going to have to remain calm and nice. Remember, she's just doing this because her ego's been bruised. Oh, Trisha, can we talk? Wow, good fake smile. Hey. Ah. Uh-oh. Ah. You can't have all the boys in the mall. Oh, yeah? Just watch me, Lemonhead. Ah. Let go of my hair! Oh. Hey. Ah. What is going on here? Back off, Zane. This isn't about you. Yeah, it's between me and Lemonhead. Stop calling me that. You know what? I think us dating would just get in the way of your fight with Trisha. I'm out of here. Are you happy? You made him break up with me. Actually, I think you did a pretty good job on your own. You can let go of my hair now. Ooh. Well, so much for calm and nice. So? So, I was thinking, what if we try... We should break up. What? I don't think I'm ready to be in this big relationship. 
It's just this anniversary stuff. But that's just it. I don't want the Nikki and Jonesy relationship to get between us. We've been friends since we were four. Yeah, and I've had a crush on you since I was 14. Really? Yeah. This is gonna sound really lame, but I thought we kind of had something, I don't know, like special between us. There is. I'm not saying forever, just for now. Okay? Okay. We're so hooked up for tonight. What's in the bag? Scary horror movies and enough cookie dough to make us throw up. You're still having sleepovers? You said your aunt left two days ago. She what? Uh-oh. Was I not supposed to say that? I haven't slept in four days! I'm going home for a nap! Alone! But dude, I've got cookie dough! So what about you and Jonesy? You're really okay with this whole breakup thing? Mm-hmm. Maybe one day when things aren't so complicated. Where is Jonesy? Probably getting fired. There were a lot of complaints from parents about that breast bowl. I can't believe my wedding is only seven days away. Tell me about it. I'm about to inherit three smelly stepbrothers. I don't think this dress will fit me. Sure it will. And don't forget, they'll be my smelly stepsons. Yeah, well, you don't have to share a bathroom with them. Oh, maybe it won't be that bad. You don't know, Mom. They spit all over the sink, leave their nasty underwear on the ground, and they never wash their towels. Oh, and yesterday, they ate all the nacho chips. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't want you to marry Jonesy's dad. I just wish we could stay in our house instead of moving into theirs. Jen, we already went over this. Their house is much bigger than ours, and there's seven of us now. At least Jonesy and Diego are moving up to the loft as soon as it's finished, so we can have their rooms. All set. Oh, Courtney, you look beautiful! <gasps> it's so pretty, Mom. Oh, you have the perfect body for this dress. Jen, come out. Let's see you. <gasps> oh, dear. I know, I know. Flat-chested Jen can't even fill out a size six. That's so weird. My size six fits me perfectly. I'll start pinning. Ow, watch it. She has surprisingly large thighs. <gasps> mm, I hate this wedding. Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing so fast you gotta make the good times last I'm 16 16 gotta make the good times last White flowers or pink? I don't care. Do you think you'll get married outdoors or inside a church? Uh, uh, hey, guys. Hey, Jen. Oh, my gosh. You look awful. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Except that I had zero bathroom time this morning. It's bad enough Courtney needs an hour in front of the mirror. But now I have to deal with three boys, too. And they'll fight you for the bathroom. I have practically no feeling left in my upper arm. Surprise, surprise. The move-in's not going well. No, and don't even ask about the dress. Here, let me fix you up. Why can't they get married and just stay in their own houses? Then everything would be perfect. Good thinking. 
Then you could yell even louder at each other. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Well, it should. It would be better for the kids. Jonesy and his brothers are impossible. Excusez-moi? It's girls that are impossible to deal with. Try having a bathroom drawer stuffed with tampons and makeup and listening to chick music all night. Oh, yuck. Exactly! We only moved in two days ago, and already they're playing Couch Commando and totally hogging the remote. Oh, I hate that! Then, the guys have this rule about the big comfy armchair. Oh, the eating chair? Yeah, that's the one. Anyone who's eating gets to sit in it. And if someone has a bigger meal than you, then they get to kick you out of the chair. Which is so unfair because they're guys. We'll never eat more than them. Okay, that is a great rule. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I ate an entire pint of ice cream last night just to be able to sit in the chair for 20 minutes. You can't change 16 years of tradition. That's how it's always been, and that's how it will always be. <sighs> I have to get to work. At least one thing in my life hasn't changed. Later, girls. <laughs> what? Have a cow, why don't you? Ah, oh, gross! Side, Masterson. Fine, give me a penalty, but it's not my fault. His feet do stink. <laughs> ah! Holy, oh my lord! Holy jumping! Yellow. Okay, am I overreacting, or are all men barbarians? Guys are like badly trained dogs. They'd all pee on the furniture if we let them. You don't think that if I like Jonesy's dad, it's kind of cheating on my dad, do you? I mean, even though he's gone, I still feel like he's my dad. I think he'd be psyched to know you have someone cool like Jonesy's dad to be your stepfather. He'd want you to be happy. Can you believe such a nice dad has such annoying sons? I know, they must be adopted or something. <laughs> Jen, I've gotta go. The clones are staring at me. Yes? What is that? It's a bandana. We use it to decorate customers, remember? Why is it stuck in your pocket? I don't know. I was decorating the front window like you told me to, and I must have stuck it in my pocket. Admit it! You were trying to steal this bandana! <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't be caught dead in one of these. Maybe you'd be caught alive. What? That's not all. Our khaki barn logo label gun is missing, too. Oh, and what would I do with one of those? Wallpaper my bedroom with khaki barn logos? <gasps> Idea. Okay, is the interrogation over or are you gonna call in CSI? We'll be watching you, Nikki. <laughs> uh, I must have been so bad in a previous life. I thought you girls already tried your dresses on. Knock, knock. Mine's already perfect, but Jen needed a second fitting. I heard. You guys clean up pretty well. I've got to say, I look pretty money in this tux. I'm so the man. I can barely move in this dress now. Chicks at Grimey are going to go wild when they see me in these duds at the stag party. Did you just say your stag party is at Grimey? Yep, Thursday night, baby. They double booked us? So? Grind me's a big place. We can have them both there. It'll be fun. You can't have a stag party at the same place we're having our shower. Why not? <laughs> nice dress. Shut it. Because showers are nice, classy events. And what the heck does your dad need a stag for anyway? He's been married before. Well, what the heck does your mom need a shower for? It's, it's tradition. tradition. Exactly. And you're supposed to be wearing purple ties to match our dresses? We like green. Well, too bad. Who says you get to decide? That's just the way it is. I don't want to wear a purple tie. <gasps> <gasps> Ow! Take it easy, sis. Josie, control your brothers! OK, we'll wear the stupid purple ties, but we're not moving the stag. We booked it first. And another thing! I hate guys! We'll just move the stag. What's going on? 
on. A baby blue tube top has gone missing. Care to enlighten us? Okay, how about it's ugly and never should have been available for public consumption? We think you stole it. Fascinating. Do you have any proof? We don't need proof. We voted, and we all think that you did it. Oh, now this is a democracy? No, it's a khakiocracy. And if we had proof, you'd be fired by now. Right now, we're just majorly suspicious. Okay, this is starting to get annoying. <gasps> From now on, you carry this into and out of the store with all your belongings in it so we can see them clearly. <sighs> You're kidding, right? I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, no I don't. Nice bag, Nikki. <laughs> the clones think I'm trying to steal their crappy clothing. Bug off, you nosy little creep. <sighs> so, how's the moving going? Last night, Jen just started crying out of nowhere. Well, there had to be a reason, Jonesy. Did you ask her? I don't know. Something about no one listening to her or something? I wasn't really paying attention. Huh? What happened here? I feel it too. Serious tension. Jonesy saw Chen naked yesterday. <laughs> Ow! She's your stepsister. Show a little respect. And you! It was an accident! I swear! I didn't see anything! It's actually good that this happened now and not in a year or two when you finally get your boobs, Jen. Ugh! Can we just go and get this stupid present now, please? <sighs> no. No way! Oh, we are not getting them a massage chair. You guys just want it for yourselves. Frankly, I'm insulted that you would even say that. <sighs> A Touch Control 3000 is not an appropriate wedding gift. Oh, wait. The lumbar cycle's about to start. Wait for it. Wait for it. <sighs> no way, Jonesy. There's an easy way to settle this. We'll do it the democratic way and take a vote. All in favor of the Touch Control 3000, say aye. 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 Sorry, we can't help it if you're outnumbered. Ring this up, my good man, and tie a bow on it, will you? It's a gift. This is so not fair! You can't just do this! Calm down now. Tell you what, we'll let you pick the color. <sighs> ah! Come on, Courtney. That was harsh. But we got the chair. Calm down. I can't believe that guy. We've got to get them back. Seriously, if we don't put a stop to this now, think of how it's going to be after the wedding. Oh, I know! And I think I know just how to do it. No, but Dad! But Dad! Ugh! Great Wall of China, this sucks! Let's go, boys. This would be appropriate for a wedding shower. Careful, she might steal your purse. Ugh. It's so weird seeing your mom get married. But you do like Jonesy's dad, right? Sure, he's okay. I just wish the guys weren't such guys. Don't worry, they should be getting the good news any minute now. Hey, what's the big idea? Diego and I were supposed to split the cool loft space in the attic. But someone just convinced my dad to give it to Jen and Courtney. Yes, we're just picking our paint color now. Wanna help? How'd you do it, huh? You pulled the sweet little girl act, didn't you? Maybe. Do you like this one? Ooh, good choice. That is totally offside. He has no experience with daughters. He doesn't know how to say no. We can't help it if we're resourceful. Gee, I feel calm right now. Do you feel calm? I feel really calm. So you want to play this way now? Fine! We're not moving the stag. What? You said you were going to. That was before you stole our loft. So you can throw your little wedding shower at Grimey if you want, but we will be there. Fine! I understand there's been an H719 Section B disturbance here. 
right, officer. You suspect an inside job? Oh, definitely. So inside. Oh, come on. You actually called in the rent-a-cop? That's mall security officer. Is that the perp? <laughs> Girls, this is such a lovely party. You've done a beautiful job. <laughs> There just had to be a game on. <sighs> Finger sandwiches, anyone? <laughs> Still reeking! <laughs> Was that my new stepson? Oh, that is it! until 10 p.m. You never said anything about noise restrictions. This is so unfair. Ugh. Well, I guess we'd better get going. Thank you for a lovely party, girls. Good times while it lasted, bro. Well, I hope you're happy. Us? You guys just ruined our wedding shower. You know what? Just don't talk to me again, ever. Fine by me. Let me in there, Missy. Look, can you just go away for a while? Negative. You go, I go. There are items in that washroom that need to be protected. Okay, okay, that's it. I can't live like this. I quit. No way! Yes! My work here is done. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Uh... Chrissy? Chrissy? What? <gasps> Stanley has something to say to you girls. Sorry I stole all this stuff. I don't know what to say. He's usually such a good little boy. Uh, thank you for returning these. She's really gonna make me grovel, isn't she? I can still remember the time when my mom first met Mr. Garcia. It was when I was five years old and we had just moved into the neighborhood and our basement was flooded. Actually, I think they met at our little league game. Uh, no, it was when the basement leaked. Your dad helped bail us out. I think he's right. I think you're right, dude. Okay, anyway, a lot has happened and now we all have to live together, so cheers. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Uh, Nikki, can we talk to you? We know you didn't steal anything. It was that annoying little boy who comes in here with his mom. You know, the mom who dresses like a cougar. We brought you your knapsack. You can use it any time in the store. Gee, thanks, Kirsten. I'll be sure to mention that when I call head office to tell them about how you guys harassed me. Later. Wait! You can have any shifts you want. And unlimited elite washroom usage. And two extra breaks a day. Make it three and you have a deal. You are such a pig. You've had like 10 of these already. Mm -mm. Oh, were you just staring at my chest? Pervert. No, ew, no. I wasn't, Dad. That's it. You are such a jerk. Ooh. Hey, if you're so hungry, Take my This is getting really oh, ugly, oh, dude. Oh. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, everyone. We have an announcement to make. Where did you learn your manners anyway? A barnyard? The only cow around here is <clears> you. <throat> we have decided to postpone the wedding. <gasps> we had no idea how miserable this was making you all, but it's clear to us now that you just aren't ready for this kind of change. So we've decided to wait until you're all grown up and on your own. Wow, I feel so bad. You should. 
Shut up, you little pain in my butt. Guys, you've got to stop it! You're ruining your parents' wedding. Nikki's right. And as much as I can't stand you guys, your dad does make our mom really happy. Yeah, ditto. But what are we going to do? We can't agree on anything. We need someone neutral. Someone who's gotten out of tough situations before. Someone you all respect. How important is the respect part? Gentlemen, ladies, I know seeing your parents get married is about as comfortable as wearing a pair of synthetic thong underwear. But from where I sit, you soldiers have it pretty good. Good. Now let's turn you maggots into a family. I don't feel as if I'm being heard. Like, when I say I really have to pee, I really have to pee. You will let the girls into the washroom when they have to pee. Deal. The rules of the eating chair must be observed. It's tradition. Will you concede at least one hour of girl programming per night if the girls agree to relinquish all rights to said chair? We will. Very well. Let's call that bylaw 27. And in accordance, the girls shall play their chick music at a sound level no louder than 110 decibels. And the boys shall refrain from farting in presence of the girls. All parties copacetic? Yes. OK. Cool. Definitely. Sign here. I now pronounce you a family. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, man. You saved our lives. I know. Now suck it up, you little mama's boy, and go tell your parents the wedding is on. I love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. And thank you. This is one heck of a good cake. Hey, you can stop staring at my boobs any time. Gosh, you guys are annoying. Yeah, but you'll grow to love us. So, it's official. You're my brother now. I guess it could be worse. Yeah, you're not so bad. By the way, as your new brother, I think I should warn you, we can all see your underwear. I think I'm gonna like having sisters. Does my breath stink? <sighs> and she said I couldn't handle the extra hot peppers. Dude, I think you broke Nikki. Time for a comatose makeover. I'm back. Unfortunately. <sighs> Flowers and candy? Somebody's whipped. I wish. After what happened last night, I'll be lucky if I still have a relationship. Gory details? Go. Last night, Marlo and I were at the movies watching some chick flick. And I asked Serena to pass the popcorn. <gasps> <gasps> Serena? As in your ex-girlfriend, Serena? That would be the one. Ooh. Awful. Terrible. That kind of dating faux pas requires splurging for the good stuff. Roses and Belgian chocolates. Marlo, wait! Uh, I'm so sorry for last night. I even wrote you a poem. Marlo, you're amazing. Better than the glutes on a ballerina. That dope hundred-foot yacht at the marina? Or the high-def jumbotron at the arena? You couldn't even write me my own rhyming poem? Ballerina, marina, arena? All things that rhyme with Serena! Did not see that one coming. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. 
maybe a special lemon whip would say, I'm sorry for calling you Serena again, Marlo. Mmm, no. I need help. It's not like I still have feelings for Serena, so why do I keep doing it? Wyatt, you're being too hard on yourself. You're a great guy and you didn't mean to hurt Marlo. Twice. Thanks. Sorry, just being honest. Just explain it to Marlo and I'm sure she'll understand. Yeah, you're right. It's worth a try. Thanks. Sweet! Who had just abandoned such a sweet set of wheels in the mall? I think they used it in the promo for that Speed Demon sports drink. Let's take her out for a test drive. Can't. No engine. Car's just a prop. More than one way to test drive. Oh, Cindy. You're revving my engine. <laughs> the poor guy's lonely. Hmm. A sweet ride like this shouldn't go to waste. I can rent it out as a makeout car and charge admission. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, um, sorry to rain on your parade, but who's gonna pay good money to sit in some old sports car and make out? You were saying? Can this idiot surrender? Only if you promise not to drop any more Serena bombs on me. I'm so sorry, Marlo. You are my girlfriend and I wouldn't have it any other way. That is, if you'll take this dummy back. Okay, I forgive you. Again, on one condition. Anything. We never mention the name Serena again. Hey, Wyatt. Hi, Serena. <coughs> that doesn't count, right? I'll let it go this time. You're officially the best girlfriend ever. See you later, Sarlo. <laughs> I can explain. You know when you're extra sensitive about saying the wrong thing, so your brain makes you say the wrong thing again and again, even though you don't mean it? <laughs> okay, well, I'll catch up with you later, Marina. I mean, Solarlo. I mean, Marlo. Bye. Man, what is my damage? skating dudette come back whoa practice will have to wait claudette Allie, you can go too <laughs> since when do you coach figure skating coach Allie! no idea what that means dude but can you introduce me to claudette oh this suits them on cob malt idiot okay catch you later coach those smooching couples are blocking us from selling things to our valued customers. So we sell a few less tube tops. The world will be a better place. Tube tops do make the world a better place. Hello, Saggage. Our tube tops come with a built-in shelf bra. Hopeless, utterly hopeless. Okay, time's up. Time to let someone else make out. Whoa, whoa, patience, people. The Jonesmeister is here to help you fulfill your makeout dreams. Hey, Nikki, how much did you hear? Everything. <laughs> I can explain. They don't get to make out with me. See, just in my car. You're always taking people for a ride, aren't you? Nah, the car's just a prop. Care for a free turn? I get off work at five. Don't touch me. I got your veggie burger with extra pickles just the way you like it. Half onion rings and half fries. And a delicious caramel sundae with nuts. That's really sweet, Wyatt, but I'm not hungry. We need to talk. We need to talk? Wait, are you breaking up with me? Wyatt, you're a really nice guy. Not you're a really nice guy. What's next? It's not you, it's me? No, it's definitely you. You obviously still have feelings for Serena, and until you work through them, I can't be the wrongly named third wheel. Goodbye, Wyatt. Is that an I'm still into Serena moan? Or a my head is smooshed into a plate of fries moan? Judging from the pitch and timber, I'd have to say it's a Marlo broke up with me moan. You're good. Thanks. I'm sorry, Wyatt. You so didn't deserve to be dumped. Even if you did call Marlo, Sarlo, Marina, and Salarlo. <laughs> you need to do a Serena purge. 
I once knew this guy who was pretty sure he was a second cousin of an Aboriginal shaman. Or, or was it third? Caitlin, the point? Right. Well, he said in order to get over someone, you have to get rid of everything that's ever belonged to them. Then their spirit is free to wander the earth and get the heck out of your life. A Serena Purge? And this will stop me from ever saying her name again? Oh, definitely. Let's do it. Okay, but you have to hand yourself over to me. Body and belongings. Sure, how bad can it be? No! Not Serena's number! What if I need to call her for some unspecific reason? Don't fight the purge, Wyatt. <clears throat> there. Serena's number is officially deleted. Mm -hmm. I can get out of this anytime I want, you know. <clears throat> anytime? You're freakishly strong for someone so small. <clears throat> This small isn't big enough for you, me, and all these kissing couples. No law against showing a little affection in public. Actually, there is. You're in violation of Public Displays of Affection Awareness Month. I'm taking you in. No, not my customers. Oh, man, just when I was starting to make some real coin. Don't let Ron spoil the love. Bro doesn't own them all. Yeah. If anyone knows all the best makeout spots in the mall, it's me. I can sell secret mall makeout maps instead. You know all the secret makeout spots? Got something in mind, dude? I'm at the figure skating Claudette Dudette of my dreams today. But the coach won't let me talk to her. He's keeping us apart, like some kind of, you know, that movie where the lovers are kept apart. Romeo and Juliet? Nah. That's not it. Who is in the Fast and the Furious? As the inspiration behind Jonesy's new mall makeout maps, I'm gonna tell you a little ice rink secret even Coach doesn't know about. You know ice rink secrets? So you and Claudette can have some alone time, if you get my drift. Awesome! There's a small hole in the back of locker number three. <laughs> Come on! <sighs> But it's my favorite t-shirt! Oh. Serena gave it to you! Now hand it over! Hey, how's it going? Sometimes a girl has to do what a girl has to do. You said it! Fight the power, girlfriend! Please tell me we're done. Soon as you clean up this mess, your Serena purge is complete. <sighs> and all it cost me was my favorite shirt, 26 CDs, my journal. Oh, and my dignity. Don't you feel any better? You know, I do. I feel lighter. That's the power of the purge. I'm gonna go home and shower, then head to Marlowe's. I should look my best when I grovel. Not so fast. But you just said we were done. The purge is over, but you still have the final, very important stage to complete. Oh, tell me it's not some kind of Aboriginal wolf wrestling ceremony. I'm a little worn out. Close. You have to come face to face with Serena one last time. What? I can't do that. You have to. How is seeking out my ex going to help me forget her name? Because you have to look Serena in the eyes and make sure you have absolutely no feelings left for her. The guy who was the cousin of the possible shaman wouldn't lie. If you're over Serena, there's nothing to be afraid of. But Serena was my first girlfriend. What if I never get over her? Yummy Mummy, lonely, mid-40s, has one son, Stanley, who often subs for a real man in her life. <laughs> Nerdy guy, male, early 40s, still lives with his mother. I'm, I, I'm only 39. And how exactly is this going to help us find Serena? You have to make it look like you ran into Serena accidentally. Otherwise, she might think we've been stalking her. But we have been stalking her. There she is! Go, go, go! And remember, don't be too obvious! Whoa! <laughs> Hotty alert! <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Hi there. Hmm. This looks good. Country music! Ugh. Hey, Wyatt. I'll be with you in a sec. Yo, Wyatt here. Hey, Wyatt. Marlo, I'm so glad you called. I was just thinking about- Wyatt, we just got a great shipment of CDs in from England. I think you'll really like them. Wyatt? 
Are you with Serena? Yes, but it's not Just what you... Just bring my stuff back. Tonight. Marlo, don't hang... Hello? Marlo wants her stuff back. Tonight. Uh, Wyatt, wait! Back straight, head held high, tushy tight if you wanna fly. Nail that axle! Yeah! Oh, I feel good! I love the smell of this stuff like spine. <laughs> nice threads! <laughs> what? Who? What? Who? What? what, what, what who's there? <laughs> Coach is a closet figure skater! <laughs> Salut, ça va? Sorry, brah. Don't speak angel. Tu fais le patinage artistique? I love art. I mainly make sculptures out of me. <laughs> tu es drôle. You have real pretty hair. Yeah, gotcha! Yeah. There's a place for pervs like you, you weirdo. Where? You'll find out. When? Kind of spoiling the dramatic tension here. Sorry. Ugh, gross. That's my secret change room. The one I hide in when I'm trying to get away from you people? Well, Jonesy said it was a great place to make out. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Yeah, I'd like to buy map two, if you please. A hot Swedish chick? Awesome! Hey, 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 hey there, Nikki. Uh, how much do you know? Everything. You sold me out to the clones. Ow! Ow! I can explain! Thanks to your stupid makeout map, I no longer have a place to hide. Ah. <gasps> How many of these makeout places have you tried? Now probably wouldn't be the best time to brag, huh? Ugh, gross! Does it really matter? My lips picked you! Nikki! <gasps> You gotta let me out, man. I need to tell Claudette how I feel. If I have my way, you'll get life. I really like Claudette. Kind of like how you really like figure skating. Ah, I could have been great. I could stick handle my way through a triple sow cow. I'm telling you. I had one sharp inside edge. If it weren't for my dad, no son of mine is going to prance around the ice! <gasps> oh. Oh. So hurtful! Parents can be harsh. I'll let you out if you promise to keep this our little secret, hmm? Sure thing, Coach. If you hook me up with Claudette. Hmm. The ice rink, nine sharp. See you then. Awesome! I can close the rink, you know, give you a little private ice time, if you want. <laughs> you and Claudette are in for the show of your life. You sure you're okay? It's over. Marlo wants her stuff back. No, Wyatt. You can't give up so easily. Caitlin, nothing about these last two days has been easy. Chad used to go to my old school, and I think I can set up a fake double date. That way, you can face Serena once and for all, and I'll be there for moral support. You'd do that for me? You really are the best friend ever. Correction. Tonight, I'm the best girlfriend ever. Thanks for putting the storage room on your makeout maps. I've been finding couples in there all day. I'm surrounded by smooching, paying customers, and I can't enjoy it without Nikki. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard you say. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. Jonesy, look around. Half the mall is in love, and it's all thanks to you. Throw some of that Nikki's way, and she'll be powerless to resist. You know what, sis? You're right. You know what, bro? You've never called me sis before. Aw, oh, man. I've gone totally soft. Your secret's safe with me. Blue's my favorite snow flavor. How do you say it in French? Blue. Yeah, blue. Blue. <laughs> I get it. Blue is blue. French is totally easy. Last show's about to last start. <laughs> Change rooms. 
so. So we can't get him out! We need your help. He's stuck in the last one. Of course he is. Jonesy? We fixed it! Yay! What do you do? Flowers? Somebody's whipped. I guess somebody is. Can't say I wasn't surprised by the invite, Caitlin. I had no idea you and Wyatt were dating. It's still very new, but we're very, um, happy. What are you gonna have, Pookie? Pookie? Mm, Chad and I were thinking of splitting the spicy tuna rolls. Oh, that's Marlo's favorite. <laughs> the funniest thing happened at work today. This guy came in looking for bare naked fat guys, and Chad says... Marlo and I went to their concert last month. We laughed all night. How can you keep talking about your ex when your beautiful new girlfriend is sitting right here? You think I'm beautiful? Thanks! <sighs> Come on, Chad, let's go. I'm sorry that didn't go better, Wyatt. Are you kidding? That went great! I was face to face with Serena, and all I could think about was Marlo. Yay! The purge worked! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Marlo. No, wait! I can explain! This isn't what it looks like! Sister, you're working overtime this weekend. Sure thing, Coach. If you pay me time and a half. <laughs> oh, Masterson. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Back straight, head held high, tushy tight if you want to fly. Why did you hear that? All right, so next week, time and a half. No problem. Love you. Sounds good to me. Glad to see you two made up. Yeah, and all I had to do was give up the makeout car, the makeout maps, and grovel. Ain't life grand. <sighs> hey, what's with the long face? Claudette landed the gig as the snow cone in the ice cream forest. Ice capades. I totally support chicks following their capade dreams, but I'm gonna miss the... I thought we had an agreement. I'm sorry. I'm no good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Ask anyone. Oh, awful. terrible. Uh... I wrote this song to let you know how I feel. I got your name wrong, but ooh, I got you right. Yeah, I got you right. Aww. Oh, that would make a great song for my finger skin. Um, I, uh, never mind. As you were. Oh, is it warm in here or what? Holy Germany. <laughs> <laughs>